Hello, this is Steve at GreenFuelH2O.com. Today I'm going to show you how to set up and operate our newest PEM generator, pure hydrogen generator. It's pretty easy to do. What we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to talk about the plumbing first, and then we'll talk about the electrical. So on the cell, you've got a port on each side, right in the middle that's your hydrogen output port and then these ports here this one down here on the bottom that's your water input and the one on the top is the water output and also out of this will come the oxygen you can use any kind of reservoir with this inside of the reservoir you can only put distilled water in you can only use distilled water with this generator so that means you don't want to add anything to this water like an electrolyte or anything like that. That will damage the generator. So just distilled water. On your reservoir you're going to need two ports minimum. You've got a output port and an input port. And you're going to connect a hose from the output port, which should be in the bottom. It should be lower than the input port. And connect it to the bottom of the generator. This generator has quarter inch push connect fittings so any quarter inch outside diameter hose will work we're going to put some hose in the kit for you and then on the output part you want to connect your hose to the output and in, that goes into the reservoir you can see that I have a another hose here this hose is going to the separator I'll talk about that in a second for the hydrogen output you're going to connect a eighth inch hose to both sides and in your kit I'm going to include some fittings for you to get you started um, and then that'll go into a T and then from the T you'll go up to your separator now the separator you don't have to have a separator but as the hydrogen comes out of the generator water will come out with it too so there will be a little bit of water in your hydrogen line that goes up into this separator and it's you can see there's a little water in here. The water gets separated into this cylinder and the hydrogen is, um, escapes out of the separator. Inside of this there's a little cylinder that will raise as the uh, water level goes up and when it gets up high enough it'll drain the water from the separator out this tube I was talking about and back into the reservoir. The reservoir needs to have some sort of vented cap so that the oxygen can escape. So you need to have a cap that's vented or you can drill a small hole in your reservoir. Now for your electrical might I suggest the Meanwell RSP 320-5 it's a great power supply very reliable and it has to be a 5 volt power supply so you want to go any higher than 5 to 6 volts on this and this power supply it can be the voltage on it can be regulated there's a small screw or potentiometer pot here if you turn it counterclockwise it'll lower the voltage which will lower the output of the generator if you turn it clockwise it'll raise the voltage and raise the output of the generator the wires that you have connected to the 5 volt side go into the generator they need to be pretty big. Right here I have 10 gauge wire. It's good up to 30 amps. Your generator will take up to 40 amps and the running amps are 20. The normal running amps are 20 and then you can push it up to 40 periodically. You just don't want to ha let the generator heat up too much. If you've got an infrared thermometer or some way to, to take a temperature on the water, you don't the wa want the water to be any hotter than 120 degrees. Okay, let's start it up and I'll show you how it works. So to the power supply, we've connected our AC wiring here. And I'm just going to plug it into the wall now. Turn on my meters. I'm hoping you can see the meters. Right now you can see that the voltage is 4.20 and then our amperage is 12.1 amps. To increase the voltage, I'm going to do it now. I'm going to turn the potentiometer clockwise you can see that the voltage is starting to raise and right now 
sitting at just over 20 amps. That's your normal running amperage. You can run lower. The higher the amperage, the higher the voltage, the more hydrogen will be produced. So I'm going to run this up to the 40 amp maximum. Right now we're sitting just over 40 amps. That's the maximum. You can see that the voltage is right around 5.7, still, still climbing a little bit. About 5.75. If you run it this high, you just want to monitor the temperature. So. All right, for maintenance, maintenance is really easy. This water here, you want to change it out every 100 hours or so of use. That just keeps the water nice and fresh. That's about all you have to do. So in your kit, we're going to give you some eighth inch hose and some quarter inch hose. We'll put a T in there and a couple other fittings for you to get you started. If you have any questions, please contact me at info at hydrogen4health.com or steve at greenfuelh2o.com or just leave a comment in the bottom of this video. We'd we'll be glad to answer any of your questions. This is the end of this video. I appreciate you watching it. This is Steve.